Genesis 2:18. The Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. My family grew up in church here and church was really the center of our lives. Romans 1, 26 and 27. Because of this, God gave them over to shameful lusts. Even their women exchanged natural relations for unnatural ones. In the same way, the men also abandoned natural relations with women and were inflamed with lust for one another. Being a Christian is the most important part of who I am. Being gay is also a pretty important aspect of my life. And that's also something that a lot of Christians haven't understood very well. It's become the calling of 25-year-old Matthew Vines, showing the church both these worlds can coexist and giving the LGBT community a voice. Sexual orientation, the same sex orientation, is a fact of life. It is part of who some people are, for better or for worse. Nearly 70% of young Protestants between the ages of 18 and 33 favor same-sex marriage. Matthew shares his message with other Christians face-to-face, -face, traveling to churches across the country as part of his organization, the Reformation Project. Uh, we've been together for 27 years. That's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. And so I'm making this out to Dave? Yes. Okay. And you're a gay Christian? Yeah. Okay. Well, I also yeah. Oh! <laughs> I was in Exodus for like 15 years. Oh, wow. I was married, have kids. It's been very hard to come to this point. There are some people who want their churches to be supportive and inclusive of LGBT people. So we want to find those Christians and then give them the main thing that has been holding them back from being vocal about their beliefs. <laughs> but starting the conversation wasn't easy, especially growing up here in Wichita, Kansas, the heart of the country's Bible Belt. What was said about homosexuality when you were growing up? Almost nothing was said about homosexuality, but no one had any doubt about what the position of the church was. Every family you ever saw was a straight family, and every respectable person you had ever heard of was straight or at least seemed to be. And the only gay people you'd ever heard of were shunned to the margins and were not seen as respectable. So how did you come out to, to your family? So I went to college at Harvard, which is a long way away, not just distance-wise, but also culturally from Kansas. It gave me some space and time to begin to process through questions about my own sexual orientation. I came home to my parents uh, around Christmas time, and I came out to both of them. They told me that they loved me, that they were glad that I told them. But my dad was convinced that homosexuality was a sin and that I could become straight if I worked hard enough at it. Matthew and his father studied key verses in the Bible mentioning homosexuality, while reading dozens of books on the topic by biblical scholars. He told me later that he thought we would study it together and then I would see the light. But he realized once we were studying it that he didn't know as much as he assumed that he knew. With his parents' support, Matthew's next step was to come out to the church that had seen him grow up. It was a church of more than 2,000 people, and I was the first person to ever come out and try to stay. It was not well received. So I ended up having to leave that church. He then reached out to other churches who were open to his argument and prepared a controversial speech. Gay people are just as much children of God and just as much a part of his creation as everyone else. Four years of careful study would become the framework for this viral video with almost a million views today. And eventually, he published his book, God and the Gay Christian, The Biblical Case in Support of Same-Sex Relationships. Same-sex marriage was not an issue in the ancient world. Marriage is fundamentally, according to the Bible, about keeping covenant with your spouse in order to reflect God's covenant with humanity. That is something that same-sex couples can live out and do live out every day. A lot of people, Matthew, believe that homosexual acts are a sin. No one would ever say heterosexual sex is a sin. There are contexts in which the church would absolutely counsel against a man and a woman having sex. And this is true for same-sex relationships too. There are some Christian denominations, such as Presbyterian, Lutheran, and Episcopalian churches that do support same-sex marriage. Some churches are tolerant to gay people, but that doesn't necessarily mean acceptance. As Christians, 
Jesus didn't say tolerate your neighbor. He said love your neighbor as yourself. How crucial is this debate for the church in the 21st century? It's imperative that we change this because the continued exclusion and rejection of LGBT people is a cancer in the body of the church community. God and the Gay Christian is now a best-selling book, but not everyone is on the same page. All the churches who are like, oh, let's just open our doors and just love everybody. Look, no queers allowed in this church. And all God's people said, Amen. God's glory is in the creation of the man and the woman. And in creating the woman for the man. What about people who feel offended by your message? Some people are not open to even the best presented argument. But I'm not most concerned about the people who aren't open to this conversation because there are so many who are open to the conversation. Like 25-year-old Lance Hurst, a gay Christian himself who only recently came out to friends and family. Do you think that the world and the church was waiting for somebody like Matthew to come along? I definitely used his book for my own understanding. I mean, it's been a part of my journey for sure. Do you think that in 15, 20 years, this debate will be obsolete? I think the conversation will look completely different than it does today. And I think in the same way that in American society 20 years ago, gay marriage seemed almost an impossibility. And today, is an inevitability. What's your personal life right now? Have you had any relationships? So I'm not in a relationship currently, and I'm in no rush because I'm still fairly young. And in the gay Christian world in particular, everything is kind of delayed because a lot of people don't come out. But I don't feel, I'm not worried about it. I feel like all these things will. You're a catch. It'll, will it'll happen. It'll happen in time. Oh, you're sweet. <laughs>